Welcome to the White Lotus in Sicily. Let's do this. Last season really got into privilege, and this season it's more of a kind of bedroom farce with teeth. Buonasera. It's about how awkward we all are and how sexual tension prevents us from knowing each other and being able to accept each other. There's a plot strand that's about toxic masculinity and trying to break the cycle. Everyone is functioning in a way to manipulate or undercut another character. I'm not a fool. Stop flirting with my wife. Some of the themes are infidelity, family bonding, murder. <laughs> it's kind of got everything. Season two is decidedly sexier than season one. Also, the environment lends itself to that romantic summer vibe. I think Sicily is the perfect place for romance and sexual politics. Taormina is so special. It's an out-of-time place, and you feel like you're in this bubble. When we saw the Four Seasons in Taormina, it was just such a beautiful location, and it just sold this kind of old-world European summer vacation. The first season, we were lucky to work with such an eclectic range of actors. I really wanted to duplicate that again this season. Anytime I shoot with Jennifer Coolidge, the hardest part is to keep my concentration and not to laugh. Damn it. Damn it. I sold a bug. The great thing about season two is Tanya really gets to come out of her shell. What if I take a look in the mirror and then just like bite my arm really hard? <laughs> Maybe not that. <laughs> Mike White. <laughs> he brings a positive energy. To me, Mike, he's a maestro. He can make you laugh and cry about life in the same time. I'm so impressed with how his scripts spin so many plates. He takes care of all the different characters in the ensemble and weaves the stories together. We're all a protagonist to our own story and antagonist to someone else. Mike can write characters that don't have a lot of redeeming qualities, and he gives them a break. It's a great company of people who like each other and like what they're doing and are proud of what they're doing. You bond on a set like this because there's no way out. The true romance for me of this production is just getting to have this experience with people that would end up becoming close friends and having this intense collaborative experience.